under the patronage and attendance of His Excellency Minister of Oil and Minister of State for National Assembly Affairs, Dr. Ali Lamir, Kuwait Petroleum Corporation Subsidies and Equate Petrochemical Company organized the first Kuwait Industrial Automation Control System Cybersecurity Conference 2014. The conference was held in order to address key matters relevant to industrial control systems in the energy sectors of oil, gas and petrochemicals to increase awareness, share knowledge, counter threats and address arising challenges and other relevant topics. Here is more on the conference in this report with Salem el -Kendari. More than 85 local, regional and international companies, including over 200 executives and professionals, attended KX 2014, which was held under the attendance of His Excellency, Minister of Oil and Minister of State for National Assembly Affairs, Dr. Ali Umair. In accordance with the directives of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait to turn this country into a regional financial and economic hub, by developing all available resources to serve our nation and its people. KBC and subsidiaries have as paid their strategies and the Kuwait Development Plan have paid no efforts in keeping track of all developments relevant to ICS security in all opportunity relevant to exploration, administration affairs and production and others through optimum utilization of equipment, tools, and systems. What we are talking about in this conference actually around the control system, and people sometimes understand the virus is only in the desktop. This is not really what we are talking about. We are talking about the control system itself. The control system is the vulnerability that is also exists. The criticality of it is also very critical. When I say the critical and the different from the first form, the control system today it is really controlling our production, how we do the processing, how we do the trans transition, how we really do transport our product and, uh, and uh, other product within the industry itself. So everything today is controlled through these systems. So the vulnerability of the system, God forbid, if it's been hacked, it will be tremendous. There will be risk definitely in the production because it's going to cease. The risk also also on safety. Uh, God forbid this coming sudden, you could have uh, a lot of explosion or some other issues, which is happening. And therefore, we really uh, trying to be ahead of the game. And so far, Alhamdulillah, in Kuwait, we are really still safe. And I think we, this is what we are. Uh, we've been safe. Let me say we've been safe. And we has have to. That shouldn't be due to the complacencies. This journey is going to continue with us, and they're going to continue with us, and we have to move with this journey. Our intention very much today to uh, bring the special people together, specialized people together, the SMEs to be work together, to understand how we are managing it, to provide some external views to tell us where, what is happening in this, in this ground, what the industry are doing to really help protecting the systems and the control system from being hacked, also to really make sure we are connecting people, uh, and also we are really very much focused to the knowledge sharing throughout this process very much. The two-day conference included panel discussions, expert presentations, and specialized workshops with the participation of several senior officials and professionals from around the world. The conference also included an exhibition where top technology and cybersecurity firms from around the world presented the latest advances in devices and software. Basically what this conference was all about is how to protect the security systems of the industries in Kuwait, especially oil and banks and others, from intruders through the cybernet. From Selwa Hall, this is Sam Kendiri reporting for the English News.